Hey guys, Neo Musen. Now for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Arsenal versus Bournemouth game, the preview, predictions, injuries, suspensions, I'm gonna talk about it all, and the most important thing about this game for the Arsenal, this is Mikel Arteta's first game in charge. This is gonna be the game Stay tuned to my thoughts and my views, and if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, comment if you wish, and like the video and share, it really helps the channel out. Now, let's get started. So, Arsenal versus Bournemouth. In recent years, this would be the type of game where, you know what, Arsenal should be getting a win, hands down. I would have ultimate confidence. But with how this season has gone, I really don't know. I really don't know how this game is gonna go. I don't know what to say uh, in terms of whether we're gonna get the win. I do have my thoughts, and this is why I'm doing this video. Now, when you look at some of the potential injuries that Arsenal have, now, I've been doing the research in terms of who was injured, who was out, and who put could potentially come back in. So, if you guys have been living under a rock, you obviously know that Kieran Tierney is out, Kalazanac is out, and both of them are out for, Tierney's out for three months, and Kalazanac is out for two. So, at some point, we're gonna need a left back, but that's another story. But who's gonna play left back in this game? Chances are it'll probably be Saka again, uh, to be really honest, or Maitland-Niles. And I know in my last video against Everton, when I was talking about my prediction on who would start, I gave the, the notion that Maitland-Niles could also play at left-back. In Wenger's last season, he played as left-back and deputized for, um, at the time, Nacho Monreal. Uh, so that could be an option there. So Saka, hopefully, you know, he, he can just do a job for us and, and play at left back if needed or Maitland Niles but then that's depending on the right back injury situation and depending on how Mikel Arteta wants to play uh, there is a slight chance that Bellerin could come back he started back in training but it might be a situation where it may be a little bit too early for Bellerin and this is why I could see it where it's Maitland Niles on the right and Saka on the left, uh, at least for this game. And then the next game that we have after that is Chelsea, where uh, we need to come correct. We really do need to come correct. Um, and that game is where I could see Bellerin starting at right back and Maitland Niles at left back. Center backs, um, I'm going for a 4 3 3 formation, so we're gonna go with the same thing that worked last week. So I will go with Chambers and David Luiz. For me, I think that works. Uh, I, I like the way how we played in the last game. Yes, we didn't get the goals, but our defense was solid. You know, I think that they played well, they did what was needed. And I think let's have a bit of consistency with this. Obviously, injuries counting for stuff. So for me, of course not. Torreya, yes, I want Torreya in there. For me, I think he is exactly what we need. I, I wish we had three Torreyas in that midfield, helping to give us energy and somebody be able to win the ball. That's ideally what I, I would like, but can't get miracles, right? Oh, I, I know it's Christmas, but come on, slow down. But Torreya in midfield, uh, I prefer a at least two sitting players. So again, why not go for Smith Rowe? Smith Rowe could be that guy. If not Smith Rowe, then probably Gwendozi. I can see Gwendozi uh, in there. He's got a fantastic work rate. But you know what? Let's just stick with what we did the last game. So Smith Rowe in there, in that kind of midfield role. Uh, then leading up to the top. You probably got to put Mesut Ozil uh, in there as well. Uh, he's back in training, doesn't really, uh, he's kind of gotten over his injury. So for me, I'm gonna put Mesut Ozil in there. Uh, and then the, f the front three. So, and this is a bit of a toughie. Um, I know Pepe started um, in training again. I'm not sure if he will start, 
but again, and the same thing goes with Gabriel Martinelli. But I'd still go with Reese Nelson on the right. I thought he played well. If Pepe is injured, I want to actually see Pepe on the left. And here's my theory. The way how we like to play with always crossing the ball in, Pepe being mostly one-footed, this is a great opportunity to put him in the squad. He can use his uh, left foot pro predominantly to cross the ball in. He could cross the ball in low. I, I don't know how, how he's going to handle playing out there on the left, but I think maybe it's time to see a, a different option because I think it's too obvious for him always starting out on the right, cuts in, tries to shoot or tries to pass the ball and then nothing really happens. Play him out on the left, see what happens. At the very least, on the left, he'd be more as a winger. So as long as he's able to cross the ball in, fingers crossed, things should be better or I don't know. I don't know. It's another option where we get to see Pepe in a different light because this season, for me, he hasn't come nowhere near the amount of value that we paid for him. So let's see what happens there. And then depending if injuries or anything like that, I'd actually go with a Bamiang uh, up top. Uh, I know Lacazette came on in the last game as a substitute, but for me, that having a Bamiyang in there, your best uh, goal scorer, that's what I would go for in this game for Arsenal at the very least. So it's probably the best 11 or at least close to the best 11 Arsenal could have to play. Is it a winnable game? Yes, all day long. And if we play to our potential, that's something that we can do. And when you think about who Bournemouth are going to have in the back and who Aubameyang is going to be going up against Reese Nelson and potentially Pepe. I mean, their side who's got injuries in defense, their best defender, Nathan Ake is injured. He, he's injured. And for me, I believe that this is an opportunity for us to capitalize on that. I know recently they got a victory over Chelsea. I think it was a couple of weeks, either last week or a couple of weeks ago. So, I mean, they're no mugs and, you know, we can't take them lightly. But this is an opportunity for us to be able to capitalize on their defensive issues. Their recent record is not great at all. So let's cause them a little bit more pain in the benefit of Arsenal. No reason why we can't get a win here. And yes, they've got a good manager. Um, Callum Wilson is no slouch. He's someone that could score goals. They've got Josh King who come up off the bench and score goals uh, as well. But to be honest, largely they have very inconsistent players. But if, our te if Mikel Arteta is the player or is the coach that what I think he was as he was as a player, we're winning this game. He's going to, we need to go up there with confidence, aggressiveness, as he said, passion, and go up then and just really just batter Bournemouth. If we do that, no way are we losing this game. So guys, you know my predictions. I am 100% confident in our ability to win games, but I need the players to come and play, play to the level that I have set. So I'm going with a 3-0 victory. Boom. 3-0 victory for the Arsenal against Bournemouth. Mikel Arteta's first game in charge. That's right. New manager bounce. It's going to happen, boys. It's going to happen. But guys, thank you once again for watching this video. Do you agree with me and my prediction in 3-0 uh, to Bournemouth? Oh, it's 3-0 to Arsenal against Bournemouth. Uh, yeah, leave your comments below. Uh, really interesting to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, and yeah, you guys have a Merry Christmas. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.